Good morning, everybody. It's about uh, 5 a.m. And I slept in today. Um, just wanted to say good morning and uh, I'm about to get up and uh, do a little bit of yoga and meditate and have a coffee and get ready for my day, which is tractor day. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas. Um, Hope you all have a great morning and um, talk soon. Okay, so got my first lawnmower rescue operation. <laughs> so I got the uh, tractor. It really shouldn't be in the front yard, but it's in the front yard because I drove the lawnmower right into the ditch. <laughs> first time I operated it, you know, to cut the grass. So now I gotta figure out how to lift something out of the ditch. So I got some chains. Hey, I'll figure it out. You gotta have the odd rescue, right? So, anyways. At least I have something to lift it out. Looks pretty good, eh? Alright. I'll let you know how it goes. Morning, everybody. Uh, I had a good sleep last night. Uh, went to bed reading a whole ton of manuals. <laughs> um, seems like every day there's something new here, and uh, or I get a new piece of equipment and that I never used before. And so, just goes to show you. I guess you can learn anything. You after my little uh, lawnmower fiasco yesterday. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna go up and. Uh, check on the tractor. I left her out in the rain last night. Her? Left him? I don't know. Um, you can tell me if it's a her or him in the comments below. Hey, anyway, I just want to see, uh, for now, it's she. How's she doing? Um, I mean, these things are meant to be out in the rain, right? Like a car. So, um, here, here they are. I got a lawnmower under the tent. Um, let's see. Okay, the seats nice and dry. The roof helps for that. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Anyway, today is deck building day. I refreshed myself on a couple of YouTube videos. I got my plan. I have the building materials, the tools set up. It's raining now, but I think. It's going to clear up in a couple of hours, so it's a perfect day to try to knock that one off. It's very wishful thinking, <laughs> but I'm going to do my best.
Hey there. Okay, so I had a pretty good day, but as I suspected, it's going to take longer than I thought. Um, I got the pad leveled. I got uh, the uh, rough framing in, but I made a kind of a boo-boo. Um, that I means I have to take it apart a bit, and I'm going to show you. But I wanted to tell you one little thing. So I'm going to show you what I did. I came in. So we have this wood shed that I told you about, and we're going to convert it into bathroom, laundry room, and all that kind of stuff. And um, and I had the designer out today, and we're actually going to take it apart, use the materials because it's just easier, and we have to pour a concrete foundation. So. Um, but when I walked in there, two birds flew out. And I thought, okay, well, that's interesting. They're in here. And then I looked and they were building a nest. And um, so I grabbed the ladder and they were very nervous. They were in the tree right beside me, chirping away. And uh, I was hoping there were no eggs in it because we're going to take this thing down. And there wasn't, but they had a, almost a fully built nest. Okay, here's the woodshed. And they flew out a, I mean, what a perfect spot, right? It's open. Um, you can see some of the grass that's still up there. But what I did, there was no eggs, so I relocated them. And they were watching me the whole time, so I'm hoping that they can see it. Uh, but I just did it here. I got the ladder out, and I took that branch. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Where is it there? So I built, um, I'm trying to swing it around here a bit more. So I put it on that branch right there and I reinforced it with these scrap pieces of two by four. And then I put a roof over top of it for them. And then I noticed the materials that they were using. And so they were using moss and a bunch of dead grass. So I wove a bunch of dead, I found some more dead grass and I wove it in really, really tight and then found some more moss. It's even better than I left it. So hopefully they're watching me and they, uh, they move in. Well, I'm having trouble sleeping and I'm stuck on the side. Cause I haven't figured out this faith of but the problem isn't sitting on a wooden pew. It's the digging through the dark parts we've been through. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Be still. Morning everybody. So it's my last full day here before I go back to Vancouver. So I'm gonna finish the deck today. That's the goal. So it's about seven in the morning right now. Sun's just coming up over my shoulder. It's amazing. And um, I got a couple errors to correct from yesterday. And then I'm gonna focus on leveling this morning. The deck, which I've never done before, but should be fine. And then I got to put in all the joists and then hopefully I can get all that done by noon, one o'clock. And then I can start putting the decking on, which would be awesome. So here I go. Um, hope you make it a great day as well. Got a little friend up there, right above my head. <laughs> all right, talk to you soon. Well, I'm having trouble sleeping and I'm stuck on the side Cause I haven't figured out this faith of mine But the problem isn't sitting on a wooden pew It's the digging through the dark parts we've been through Hey there, just taking a little uh, break from the deck. It's coming along. Pretty happy with the progress. Made my favorite snack here and I'm gonna share it with you. It's so simple. 
Um, so first of all, water, because I have not been drinking much water today and I'm feeling very dehydrated. And um, you just take an avocado, cut it. You use your knife to take the pit out, just sort of tap the pit, be careful, and then twist it and then the pit comes right out. And I'm not really happy about those two little brown spots, but I'm going to cut them out. But the rest is just perfectly ripe. And I put cracked pepper on it and Dijon mustard, and that's it. And then I just eat it. A little bit of Dijon mustard with every bite of avocado, and it's so delicious. Great nutrition. And um, you have to have a Dijon mustard that you like to eat with a spoon. Like It's not too hot or it's just perfect. This is my favorite, Don and I's. Uh, it's called Beaufort Dijon Mustard, and um, I don't know where you can get it. You can probably get it online, but it's we buy it by the case and stock up our pantry because we use it a lot. And that's it. You just use it with a spoon and eat it. It's so good. And of course, lots of water. Hope you have a good day. I'm going to get back to the deck. Hey there. So I can't find my selfie stick, so you gotta uh, have to put up with a close-up view of my mug. Um, anyway, I just want to share what, uh, what I'm having for dinner. And I can't wait for Dawn to get here because she's the real chef behind Ruby and she's going to do a way better job than I'm doing. But I just want to show you that it can be really simple. So um, I'm doing some uh, sweet potatoes, cast iron pan, caramelize them with some onions. I have some uh, red leaf lettuce I got at the farmer's market with good balsamic, no oil. So you have to get a 6% acidity, spend a little extra money, and um, save your health. It's delicious. You don't need uh, oil if you have good balsamic. Got a couple avocados, or one, cut in two. It's, it's ripe. It's just a bit overripe, so I'm going to use it up. And then I've got some uh, tempeh that Don marinated <clears throat> in a bag for me, so I'm going to break that up and throw it in there. And um, I don't know, I'll probably season it with chilies, um, garlic salt, onion powder, and well, you know, I'm addicted to plant-based parm, so that might end up on the plate at some point. And that's about it. Cracked pepper. I don't have any salt here, so I'm not using it. And um, I had a good day today. Got the tent up. And I'm pretty stoked about that. And it was raining a couple hours ago when I was putting the tent up, but look what happened in the last couple hours, even though it wasn't in the forecast. You don't need to see me in here. Gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway. Wow, my hair is crazy. Um, somebody told me I looked like Grizzly Adams today. That's not the look I'm going for, but that's what happened today. So I hope you had a great day and had a good dinner, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye for now.
everybody um, just back from uh, Vancouver had a quick stop a couple nights one day had to pick up some things and uh, run a couple of errands I uh, picked up a, a diesel tank for the tractor so I can you know, get diesel deliveries which is good uh, they had to build it for us custom so it took a few days and I haven't even checked out the property yet with one exception <laughs> um, we had to take a couple trees down. There were a couple trees that were dangerous dead cedar trees that were pointed toward the Airstream location. Another one had actually broken in half, so about 15 feet up there was a crack right through it. And it was just straight up and then straight over and there was a hydro line there, so I had to get that down. And then there were three other cedars that were um, dead with super pointy long um, branches that um, weren't looking too healthy and so I said sure drop those down too. I thought he was going to do when I was here and I was going to film it but I just came back knowing actually he did phone me yesterday that he was on the property. So I'm going to show you the, the carnage. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay I say carnage but it was really necessary and it's going to make amazing wood for the wood mill which comes in a few weeks. So here it is. <laughs> Um, there's one tree that was all, uh, as soon as he came on the property, so this one has to come down because it's all broken, you know, going off in different directions, so really dangerous. And then there's three big cedars. I can't wait to mill up. We might even do this for the garden or for our future house. It's going to be so awesome. Anyway, they piled all, took all the branches off and they bucked it into 16 foot lengths for the wood mill um, but now it's pretty much scattered all over our yard um, and driveway anyways we'll deal with there was another one up up top there but now it's a little bit more open i to deal with these stumps but um, safe because that's where the airstream is going to go you can see all the trees are pointed in that direction so that was our my first thing i saw when i came back and a deer and I'll check back in with you later. So I, I, I wanted to, um, I wanted to share some feedback that I got in the last video. At the end of the video, I said, uh, if you had 24 hours left, what would you do? And uh, it was brought to my attention from Dohan and a good friend of mine, Diogenes, that um, sure, those things are really important, that kind of thinking. Um, you know, what would you, what would you really want to accomplish in life? But when you think about it in, in the context of the day, it's really difficult for a lot of us. We have family responsibilities, we have to go to work, we have chores, we got to go grocery shopping, there's there's things, uh, we all live busy lives and um, so it's really hard to stop in a day and say, hey, um, I want to fly to Cancun, <laughs> not very practical. So I, I think the important thing is that you're thinking about your long-term plans and what it is you really want to accomplish in life and you lay out a plan. Don't worry, actually, don't even worry so much about the plan. Just think about what it is you want to do in life. And that could be something that you want to do in 30 days, 60 days, a year, 5, 10, 50. It doesn't really matter. And, um, and crystallize it in your thinking and then start creating a plan. And you won't know all the steps that you have to take until you start along the journey. And that's what we've learned. Um, it's, it can be really overwhelming to think about all the things in advance. Just think about what is the first baby step I have to take and the next one and then start talking to people and ask the right questions and do the research and, 
it will just unfold itself for you. But in the interim, get up each and every day and think about the things that you have to do and take a different approach to those things. Be in the moment, be aware, be grateful of all the things that you have to do, whether it's driving to work and you hate traffic, put some good music on, uh, listen to a podcast, uh, phone a friend, and just make each and every moment in your day enjoyable, something that in some way contributes back to you and to other people. Because, you know, living in this, in this first world, um, we, have, we take a lot of things for granted. We have homes and we have hot water and we have heat and we have transportation. And for many of us, we have jobs that provide for our family and for ourselves and um, access to medical care. I mean, there's so many things that we all take for granted each and every day. And um, so get up every morning, think about how am I gonna make the most of this day and then even the most of each moment. Thank you.